What's new with Charlie's? What's new with Charlie's? Still on name. What's new with Charlie's? Tell me what's Welcome new back to another edition of What's New with Charlie's Still on Name. Um, so they'll, if you've been watching the videos, I believe this is the third video we've done. Um, the idea is to highlight some new products here at Charlie's. Um, things come in, they get put, lost on the shelf, and maybe we don't get a chance to try them. So we're trying to feature everything new we get from now on. Um, I thought nobody better to do this with than my good friend Don Williams, uh, executive bourbon steward uh, and uh, bourbonfull.com. So uh, Don, thanks for making it out again. Hey Charlie, thank you for having me. And one of the toughest things about doing these things is smelling the food coming out of the kitchen behind us because the food here is really fantastic and you have to try it someday. Absolutely. Thank you, Don. It is good, but the bourbon's pretty nice, too. So, yeah. So we, yep. got, we got a new bourbon here we're going to try today. A little story on this one. We have an Old Bones Bourbon 15-year reserve. story on this is I found it on the MLCC website. Just popped up as a new product. What got my attention was... 15-year reserve. Um, I don't know about you, Don, but anything in that 12 to 15-year range is usually a pretty sweet spot for me. I haven't met too many 15-year bourbons that I didn't really enjoy. So we're hoping this is another one of them. Um, one thing I did notice about, this is batch one. So it's their very first batch. Could be good or bad. There may or may not be a batch two. We're going to let you know in a minute what we think. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, over 15 years old. Uh, the cool thing about it, distilled in Frankfort, Kentucky. Frankfort, Kentucky. So these guys do not own their own distillery. They source their whiskey, and most of their whiskey up to this point has been sourced from Midwest grain products in Indiana. So that has been their history. But all of a sudden, this one says Frankfort, which probably tells us what? Well, it tells me 15 years ago, the only guys I know making bourbon in uh, Frankfort, Kentucky were our friends of Buffalo Trace. So to me, that's a 15-year-old Buffalo Trace product in this bottle. It's kind of what we're hoping, because um, we're both big fans of that. So I'm not sure why the Buffalo Trace people would give up a 15-year-old barrel of bourbon, but, you know. Yeah, know. it's very interesting, but really, if you go back 15 years, they're the only logical distillery. and. And a lot of these people who source their product, they sign NDAs, non-disclosures, so they don't really ever come forward with who did it, but we can hope that it was our friends at Buffalo Trace. Yeah, we think they were just trying to throw them a bone, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we don't know a whole lot more about it. Like you said, we do know it's a source product. Um, they make no bones about that on their website, but that's what they do. Uh, a lot of people do it. Um, so it's nothing wrong with it, and uh, we're looking forward to trying this one, seeing what it's all about. And you'd all be surprised that sourcing bourbon is not really that unusual anymore, especially with the new products coming to market nowadays. If a distillery starts up tomorrow, and they want to pay, and they want to make product, the only thing they can do is source it because they have to age their own product for a while. Yeah, not many people can afford to sit on to make bourbon for four or five years and never make a dime off of it. So, That's yeah. very true. Yes. Very yeah. true. So anyway, so let's see how these guys have done with this. Um, I'll open it up. You got any more information on the bottle you want to share while I try to figure this out? What about this uh, red wax seal? That's interesting, huh? That's very interesting because many of you know the most iconic red wax seal is on Maker's Mark products. So this is an unusual take on that, and uh, quite frankly, I don't think I've seen red wax on any bourbon other than Maker's Mark. I know, I know. Keep talking because I can't get the bottle open. See, I might need a knife. That's the beauty of live TV right there. Exactly. Or live video. So got it. It's, I'm on it. I'm all on right, it. I'm we on got it. it. Here we go. So the name of the company is Backbone Bourbon Company, and they have other products. And like I said, a lot of them are Indiana-based products, so this one is going to be very interesting. Now, the other thing about this, too, is the proof. This is a monster. It's, uh, yeah, it's not a monster, but it's 108 proof, so it's a big bourbon. It is a big bourbon, and it's the highest For proof. Last, last week, we had the lowest proof bourbon from Buffalo Trace, and uh, here That's we are. That's true. Unofficially, a high proof bourbon from Buffalo Trace. 
you know, my friend. So the first thing we notice about a 15 year is the deeper color. It's a more elegant copper color. Oh yeah, it's definitely got some color to it. Picking up there, Don. I'm picking up corn. Oh, yeah, definitely corn. And a little bit of ethanol because of the higher proof. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Not as much as I thought it would be, though. No. For that 108 proof. And I'm getting a little bit of floral, just a, a little bit of floral, like almost uh, like. I'm going to sound like one of those bourbon snobs, but kind of like... Be a bourbon snob, Don. Be like a bourbon snob. That's why you're here, Don. Fresh, fresh cut hay, kind of, kind of like... Fauna, kind of. It's hard to explain, but it's just kind of like an outdoorsy Fauna, smell. Earthy. 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 Yeah, earthy. I got that. yeah, I got that out there. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't have the cool name for it. <laughs> well, let's try it. Let's see what we think. It is higher proof. It's higher proof, yeah. It's a little hot. So you'll definitely know that this is a hotter bourbon going down. It's got some pepper notes and it's a little bit it's a little bit dry, but still not a bad mouthfeel. No, uh uh, no. Now, this is a bourbon that you could cut with a little water and it would still show through. Oh yeah, absolutely. There would be no, you know, you could put it on ice and still get a very, very potent drink with it. Personally for me, bourbon's over 100. I like to put on the big, big ball and it kind of less soak for a second and get a little, uh, open up a little bit. Right. But um, I say this kind of reminds me of a Willet almost. It's got that earthy Willet flavor, like more than Buffalo Trace, for it, sure. It does. Yeah. And, you know, something we can speculate on just yeah. is there's a chance that Buffalo Trace had some 15-year barrels that didn't fit their flavor profile. I would and, assume that's exactly what this is. Yeah, right. And yeah. that might be why they put it on the open market. Yeah. Um, and 15 quite, years ago, they were trying to copy Willet failed. It's, it's they, possible. They threw these guys a bone. It's, it's possible. I don't know. It, I think that's two bone jokes so far. We're, it's, it's we're actually three, but who's counting? We're yeah. counting. So, exactly. But um, something that everybody needs to know, and if you're trying a high, high proof bourbon at home, you can put a little water in it, and every time you add water to it, you're actually proofing it down a little bit. And you'd be surprised that it might be a little harsh for you like this, neat, but add a little bit of water to it, and it might be the perfect drink for you. So experiment with that a little bit. Yeah. So if you like a higher proof whiskey, a lot of people here at Charlie's have, I, I always, always kind of put, compare bourbon to wine. You know, when you start drinking wine, you're drinking White Zen, and two years later, you're drinking big, heavy cabs, and you're looking for the bigger and everyone. It seems to go that way with bourbon. A lot of people ask it. The more you get into it, they look for a bigger, heavier, bolder bourbon. If you like that, you're really going to like this bourbon. Like I said, it almost reminds me of a Willet on steroids. Um, um, yeah, I like it. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of cinnamon on the, a little bit of cinnamon on the back end too. Some, Absolutely. Some yeah. baking spice. It's really, it's really not a bad bourbon. And quite frankly. Um, I'd really like to try this one with a cube because yeah. I think it would really add something to it. It would open it up a little bit. Sure, absolutely. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice drink. Um, definitely be worth coming over here, Charlie's, trying it out and giving it a sip. So yeah, if you like a big bourbon. And quite frankly, don't forget, there's literally over a hundred bourbons here that you can try. And so if you're looking for one that you haven't had the chance to try, chances are Charlie's has it. Yep. This would be a good one to start with, so yeah. But, well, there we go. I think that's about a wrap for today, huh? We 
Anything else to add there? No, all we're going to do is ask you if you like these videos and you want us to, you want to ask us a question that we'll feature in the next one, just send the questions in. You can do it at Charlie's website, his Facebook page, or at bourbonfool.com. So we're still working out the bugs on this process, but we're going to get a like button and you can smash it. All right. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Table cuisine. Tell me what's new, Charlie.